What's going on guys? Young with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. In the last episode, which you guys actually did get to see because Camtasia actually did something good for once and recovered the lost file, we went and did Why Not Junk and we did stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> I actually don't remember. I can't remember what happened at the time. Anyways, we're going to be continuing our adventure today, so let's get started. I believe we have to go and find a peeled chestnut. That's like what we're supposed to be doing today. And this is our first night in our new rescue base, and it's kind of freaking awesome. Good morning, Hardy. For now on, every time Pelper comes and he does that flap flap thing, I'm just going to imagine that he's fapping in the air. And it, I wish I could do that. Fly and fap at the same time. That's got to be amazing. Anyways, uh, Pokemon News Extra 2. Ooh, let's read. Quote from Charizard, on the scene, a hearty, innocent, part two. That's what I thought right from the start. <laughs> Quote from Tyranitar, that muck-racking Gengar. He's not getting away with this. He'd better get it right. Okay, that was actually kind of pointless. Anyways, um, so let's talk to Why Not. Just I want to make sure this is what we're supposed to be doing. We're getting to work hard. We need to finish the rescue team base. Okay, so yeah, we're supposed to get some um, peeled chestnut things. And we're going to do that. We're going to go, let's bring... Let's bring someone else with us today. Who have we never brought with us? Um, Charlie and Minion and Bandit are like the go-to guys. So let's go with... Let's go with Dot. We just got Dot. He's a wonderful C-Dot. And hey, hey, come here. <laughs> um, we're going to bring him with us today. He's probably not going to... I doubt he'll do too well. He'll probably... He'll probably die, and I'm okay with that. But either way, let's go searching for some chestnuts. So... Or I think they're chestnuts in... Normally they're all spiky, and you never want to have spiky nuts. That's always just going to be a bad thing from the beginning. But we got to try to find some... I don't know how we're supposed to get them peeled, or if we just got to get the spiky ones, and then why not we'll peel them, or whatever. But, yeah. I guess we'll figure that out along the ways. So, I have been listening to a lot of music lately. You know, I know pretty much for anyone who's like ever gone through depression, or really anything in general, you know music can be like a really... Hey, what, 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 where the heck is he going? <laughs> Where, C dot? What are you doing? C dot? Not cool. Why did he just randomly turn away? Uh, so you guys know music can be like a. Oh, God dang it! No, no, I don't. No, go, go, go. Oh, screw me. Okay, you know, let's just. Yeah, let's just send Sweet dot out. C dot out. We don't need him. Oh, nice. He just happened to teleport right next to a, a Pokemon. But at least now we know where the stairs are because he happened to. Stop using Harden. Okay, he just happened to teleport to the stair room. I'm going to have to turn off Harden because that's all he's using. Oh my god, you have a horrible, horrible move pull. Please use nature power now. Thank you. Do something useful, you think? Earthquake! Oh, whoa. That's... Okay, yep, he's going to die. Um, oh well, nice knowing him. Okay. Uh, life moves on. Not that upset. I should really be upset. Like, oh no, my teammate just died. But I think I, I kind of expected him to die, so it's not really the end of the world. <laughs> no, god dang it. I, I That's the one disadvantage to being a water type, is I keep doing that. I keep stepping onto the water. And um, anyways, as I was saying, so, um, you know, I've been listening to like a lot of music lately. Pretty much most of my free time, if I'm not watching videos, I'm listening to music. And... I like discovered I like different kinds of music depending on the mood I'm in. Like if I'm in a like an angry mood or like I just I want to hate everything kind of mood, the band I typically listen to is um, Five Finger Death Punch, which I have to thank Rusty for getting me into that because I never heard of I've heard of Five Finger Death Punch before, but why can I why can I why can oh hello Walter can't talk just now. That's I can't walk through him when he's confused. Are you serious? What? Why not? <laughs> Okay, are you? Oh my God, no! <laughs> oh no! This Venonite is just trolling us right now. Wow, Walter, please kill it. Walter, thank you. Can we stop being confused now, Hardy? Thank you. Um, for those of you who never heard of Five Finger Death Punch, it is a heavy metal band that um, most of their music is more of like. Oh, I have a chestnut. Nice. I didn't know that. I probably could have just gave that to them. Now that I'm thinking about it, I keep getting distracted. So. Most of Five Finger Death Punch music is more of... I, I guess it's... I'm not really sure how to explain it. It's... The reason why I listen to it is because it's like full of anger, you know? It's like... It's not screamo, you know? It's not death metal because... Overall, I'm not a big fan of death metal, but it's very... 
mm, I don't know. It's like filled with anger, but it still has like um, it has like a combination of yelling and clean vocals, which I like clean vocals. You know, I'm not really big on like growling and screaming lyrics, which is why I prefer the newer stuff from A7X. Which I'll get to A7X in a few minutes. Don't worry. I know all you fanboys are out there like, oh my god, if it's tough, it found I gotta stop screaming. <laughs> um, but let's just walk past this guy. Uh, that's, I just, whenever I'm like in a really bad mood, I like listening to Aven or Five Finger Death Punch because their music's like really full of anger and I'm like full of anger. So it's like, I can totally relate to this because we're both angry and it's, it's an odd feeling of happiness and yeah. Um, and when I'm in a really good mood, I like to listen to one of my favorite bands of all time, probably like my first ever actually like favorite band and that is Shinedown. And Shinedown, I don't know if Shinedown's a very popular band, but they are um, hard rock bands, and really, it's kind of weird because they have like two separate sides to their music. They have the um, like the more rock kind of si sound, where they like actually sound like a you know a hard rock band, and they like you know their music's loud, and they like it's it's hard to explain. You know they have that like typical hard rock band kind of sound, and then they have um, songs that, like I really like listening to like when I'm in a good mood because they're like really enjoyable relaxed kind of songs i guess where they they don't feel like um rock but they're i don't know how to explain music this is like a really bad part for me because like it makes sense in my head but um like you know one of my favorite songs of all time is called um is by shine now it's a song called i'm not all right and i don't know why i like this song so much i guess it's I really like the like orchestra kind of sound that's in this song because it just sounds really, really awesome. Um, now, if you go like if you pause this video and go listen to that song, and then you go listen to their song, uh, let's see what's more like um, Adrenaline. Adrenaline is another song by theirs, and I actually think both of those songs are off the same album, but they're just like completely different styles of songs. And that's like one thing I like about Shine Down is that. They have like these two completely different styles of music that they do, and they sound really good doing both of them. And and then you have Avenged Sevenfold, which is probably my favorite band at the moment. It's a cross between A7X and um, Five Finger Death Punch because those are two bands I listen to the most. But oh, Avenged Sevenfold, and um, I am a big, big fan of Avenged Sevenfold. And just yet last night, I discovered a. Um, an instrumental version of their song. Oh, oh, there's a the chestnut. You little brat. You picked up that chestnut. Anyways, I discovered an instrumental version of one of my favorite songs of theirs, which is... Oh, oh god, I feel like a horrible... I just listened to it, and I can't think of the name. Um, A Little Piece of Heaven, which is also probably like one of their more popular songs because it's just so hilariously funny but I discovered I discovered an instrumental version of that song and it's pretty much like all I've been listening to because it sounds so amazing like for the record if you've never heard the song um, a little piece of heaven by Ben sevenfold I definitely suggest listening to it and I definitely suggest like going to a lyric video or something where you can like see the lyrics to the song because it's just it is a hilarious, hilarious song. And okay, so now we have two chestnuts. So we should be able to give some to the Mankeys. And let's hope that's all we need. We, I, I would have realized I already had a chestnut. I wouldn't have done a big deal over. And here comes Pelipper fapping away again. So I this like the whole time I'm like, oh, I want to talk about music because I've had music on my mind. And then I realized I am really, really horrible at talking to music because I can't explain anything the way it sounds in my head. So. What are some of you guys' favorite music to listen to? You know, do you like Avenged Sevenfold? Have you heard of Shine Down? Do you like anger-filled songs like with Five Finger Death Punch? When you're angry, you tell me and stuff. So, huh? Did you bring us a peel chestnut? Oh, a chestnut. We want a peel chestnut. Come give it to us. We'll work hard. Give. Hardy peeled the spiny shell and handed a peeled chestnut over. Yes, a peeled chestnut. All right, you layabouts, get to work. Chop chop. Why don't you quit lounging around yourself? Get moving. Well, we'll get hustling on renovating your team base. Well, carry in the materials and get the place built. Double quick. You just wait. Awesome. I wonder how many times we're going to have to do this. And so, supplied with another peeled chestnut, the Mankey Gang got motivated. And team returned to work on the re rescue team's base renovation. As a result, the team's rescue base completed completion moved a little closer. And they're probably going to be all, oh, I'm not motivated again. Oh, did you bring us peeled chestnut? Oh, chestnut. We want a peeled chestnut. Yes. 
All right, this seems very familiar to what we just did. Yeah, we get it. Let's get to work. Start building. Hopefully, this time will actually be done because I don't want to have to go get more chestnuts. And so, supplied with blah blah blah, and return to blah blah blah. And finally, oh, the rescue team base was completed. Oh yes, finally, the day has finally arrived. Hardy, it's ready. Finally, our Caterpie's rescue team base. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, really? A Psyduck? What? No. <laughs> of all the things you could have built, you built a Psyduck? What? <laughs> no, it is not so cool, Walter. You suck. It is It is horrible. <laughs> Every time I take a look at our rescue team base, I see... Oh, no. oh, my God. Walter, you used to be cool. Now you're just so lame. It resembles a nice... It resembles to you as a nice touch. Oh god, that is so derpy and lame. It's very hard, but it was worth it. What of that? Oh god, I'm so upset right now. I can't explain to you. Say there, there's something I want to ask. Is the rescue team base finished? Does that maybe mean you won't bring us peeled chestnuts anymore? <laughs> of course, we're finished with work on our rescue team base. To our Mankey gang, sincerely thank you for everything. Um... This is awkward. Okay. No, 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 whoa, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? No, what, what? No, stop, stop, stop. What are you doing? Stop that. Bad, bad. Hey, no, no, no. As a result of everything, everyone's desperate efforts to stop the Mankey Gang, the rescue team base was saved. As for the Mankey Game, they promised to keep from rampaging. In return for more peeled chestnuts, they returned to their forest. And that is how... The chaotic renovations of the rescue team base came to an end. Well, the next morning. <laughs> Why did it have to be a Psyduck? Of all things, it's Team Caterpie. Let's build it like a Psyduck. No, no, just no. <laughs> no. Good morning, Hardy. I am so disappointed by that. Even the mailbox looks like a Psyduck. That is... I don't, I don't know what to say. Mysterious dungeon, too. If your rescue team is defeated in a dungeon, you lose several items and all the money you're carrying. Beware of what you're carrying before you go out on a rescue team and... Stupid phone. Be quiet. <laughs> um, yeah, so... We should probably put these in our little mailbox thing. Store. Yeah. Um, looks like we're back to doing those pointless missions now to pass time. So, that's super exciting news. Um, we'll, we'll just... We'll see if we have anything exciting on the board. I know we still have that, um... Oh, God, I don't remember what TM it is, but... We got a really awesome TM mail in our job list. What is it? Shadow Ball. Ooh, yeah, because I think, um, Psyduck... I don't know if Psyduck can learn Shadow Ball or not, actually, so... We should probably look into that, but do we have anything interesting in here? Deliver one Chestnut, deliver one Heal Seed. Um, was that for Mount Thunder? Yeah. Alright, you know what? We'll take this Mount Thunder... Oh, God, it's an Escort Me one. Oh, uh, do I want to do that? Please take me to Pidgeot. Escort to Pidgeot. It's a Teddy Ursa. Why would a Teddy Ursa want to do with a Pidgeot? Oh, no. I'm not going to risk doing a stupid Escort one. Those ones suck so much. But, yeah, we're going to go try to get Shadow Ball. So, awesome. And before we do that, let's put our money in the bank. Because there's a chance I could die. And I don't want to lose all my money. So, let's store all the money we have. You're welcome. You're guarded jealously. That, that actually kind of scares me. Please... Don't do anything jealous with my money. I don't I don't know what that means, but I don't think I like it very much. I'm a little scared. Anyways, let's go to Mount Thunder. Remember when we had so much trouble with Mount Thunder? And now we're just going to come in here and we're just absolutely going to destroy this place. Look at that. One HP. Oh, God. There was such, such good memories of having so much problems with this dungeon. Spending forever just trying to get up to it. And spending forever actually trying to beat... Zapdos and now this dungeon's just a piece of cake and I think that's really quite entertaining so <laughs> It's nice to be able to just do it relatively easy though, and I think we're supposed to be going into seventh floor So it's probably not gonna Ooh, oh, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Thank you. Good job Walter We didn't even bring um we didn't bring anybody with us, which we probably should have because actually there's not really any point We're not exactly getting a lot of XP out of this place. So having to split it with a third Pokemon eh, it's not Excite. What am I doing? It's not overly exciting news, so... Yeah. Um, well, that music thing's really kind of like the... Oh, actually, no, I do have something else I want to talk about today. So, um, last night, I kind of got, like, I guess... 
I don't know what the like right way to express like my mood at the time, but I wasn't a very happy person, and I decided to like vent about my anger on Facebook, and it's kind of made me realize something that it's really weird that um, the people that like support me most, you know, with the besides like Rusty and Poke Wolf and Peanut and y'all, you know, my friends that. I, you know, support me and shit. Um, I was just gonna say, it's really weird. Like, the people that support me most and always have my back are people that I've never met before. And I I think that's awesome that people do that, but it's just, it's... I don't know, it's weird to me. Because I, like, got all, like, all pissy and stuff, and I was, like, ranting about all this stuff that's been going on to me on Facebook, and reading all the messages, of, reading all the comments that people are giving me, telling me how they can relate to me and telling me that they always, you know, support me and stuff. It just made me feel really happy because I was in like a really angry place when I wrote that message and seeing all the support I got made me re like really feel loved and happy and I don't know. I'm just like, I'm really grateful to, I guess, have you guys. So, and I know that's really cheesy and it's like, oh, you guys mean so much to me. I'm going to write you all a big love letter and, um... This morning I woke up and I checked my emails and I actually got an email from a subscriber and it was just like a really long inspirational email and reading it, you know, I I actually like almost cried at one point like reading this email because it was actually really sad and I'm not going to go into like details of what happened in the email because that's not right, you know, going into something, a private message like that, but um, it was just so cool to have somebody like reach out to me and... Where am I missing? Oh my god, it's in that one room I didn't go to. Just to have someone like, you know, actually care like that. and to, Someone they've never even met before. To reach out to you and to send you a message like that and say, Dude, everything's going to be okay. You're not alone here. We support you. That's really just, that's just so awesome to have people like that. And I ended up like emailing him back and forth. And, you know, we sent a few emails back and forth and had a nice, fun little conversation. And it was just... It was, I'm, I'm being interrupted. God dang it. One second, guys. My apologies about that, guys. I had to go eat dinner. And I have literally eaten nothing but chicken, different variations of chicken for my past four meals. So I'm a little scared I might turn into a chicken now. And I know I'm a big chicken lover, but it is nice to have some varieties. You know, I like french fries. I like hot dogs. I like hamburgers and pizza and, you know, all that unhealthy stuff that's probably going to lead to me dying and a very early death. But... That's not the point. <laughs> it's uh, you know I also like healthy things. I love Brussels sprouts and you know some healthy foods, but I I've, I've just been eating way too much chicken lately, I think. So, I might need to cut back on that. Anyways, um what was I talking about? Oh, right. Um so I just it's really cool to Oh, no, stairs. 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 Oh my god, they're right there. No. 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 Uh it's really cool to you know, be able to have those you know, that support like that. Do you guys give me um, you'll have people reach out to me and be like, Hardy, I want to be your friend. I want to I want to make you feel... <gasps> oh my god, please tell me I remember to accept that mission. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did, because there was an envelope there. I was like, I was going to be like, no! Oh man, that would have made me very upset. Uh, now this is the part where I'm, I start to get a little scared, because this is when all the electric big meanies show up, and they kind of scare me. I believe we're... No, I think I said 7-4 earlier, and now I'm starting to think it's... um. I don't know why I'm starting to think it's 10th floor, so we're just going to keep going until we reach the destination floor. Never mind. Wow, that was actually perfect timing. But, um, so uh, getting hungry, no really point in eating because after we find a Pokemon on this floor, we will be out of this place. So, yeah, um, that's really, I, like, I guess, I always think like, oh man, every time I think of something to talk about, it's gonna be like, this is going to be some big, amazing topic that's just totally going to change the world and get everybody interested and everyone like, Hardy, wow, that was so motivational. I hope you get an award for that. That was just beautiful. And then I realized like, okay, fine. I'll freaking eat an apple. Shut your mouth. God dang it. Then I realized like it is not nearly as interesting as I once thought it was because like after I get like the beginning part of the topic out, there's... I mean, that's that's just it. There's, like, nothing else for me to say. It just kind of stops there, so... Um, yeah, you know, it's it's cool having people, you know, reach out to me like that. Like, like I, I think I said earlier, it's, it's so weird that the people who care most for me are the people that I've never even met before. So, the TM isn't delivered... Oh, no! 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 Oh my god, I read it wrong. I thought the sh I thought Shadow Ball was a reward. No. 
Oh, I hate my life. No. Oh. Wow. Okay. Well, you know what? Wait, why can't I open the menu? Let me open the menu, please. Why am I... What? Open menu. Okay. Menu. Menu. There we go. All right. Well, after that very disappointing finish, we're just going to... We're just going to leave this place. Wow, that is... I feel so sad now. <laughs> I read that wrong. I am very depressed. Um, wow. I, anyways, that's that's going to do it for today, guys. Until next time, I'm Marty Tech Yo-Yo. We'll probably be doing some sped up missions next time. So um, if you guys have anything interesting you want me to talk about over some sped up gameplay, leave me some topics down below, and I will soon read about them and suggest them and blah, blah, blah. Until next time, I'm Marty Tech Yo-Yo. Peace.